ladies and gentlemen, this is me, William Fallow, and we are going to try these grilled cheese nacho, nacho fries. So, let's get excited. I'm excited for this, and we're going to see how these taste. I love me some nacho fries. Let's get a bite of the steak and some cheese here, as you can see right here. is excellent. So good. Mm. 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 So very tasty. So very good. I love how they blend the nacho fries and the meat and the cheese all together. Just an excellent, excellent dish, ladies and gentlemen. So good. Oh, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try the skillet cookie. We're going to bite into it. Hmm. Oh, damn. The cookie is nice and moist and the mousse and the drizzle just go really well with the cookie it's pretty tasty mmm mmm so good really tasty They need to put a little bit more mousse to cover the middle of the cookie. But it's still pretty tasty. And it's nice. And chocolatey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try the waffle cookie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. It's a waffle cookie with uh, syrup on it. So we're going to try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Mmm. So -hmm. really tasty. Especially when you put the um, syrup on it. Mmm. Just add the dollop on there. Mmm. That's really good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much. And the waffle cookie from Crumble is delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Look what I got for $4.50, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Cobra Kai Halloween costume. I got this for $4.50 at Party City, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. It's I got it for like probably 8% off or something, 85% off. And it's in my size, so I said, why not? So we're going to get a look at it and see how it look. Oh, yeah. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I show no... Mercy to my opponents, and I accept nothing less, ladies and gentlemen, for I aim to dominate and obliterate my competition. So you want to step up? You want a piece of this? Oh, yeah. And then maybe afterwards, ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you my greetings no mercy but you O oh lord 
are a shield around me. You are my glory. The one who holds my head high. Psalm chapter 3 verse 3 God bless you all. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try the crumble sugar cookie. So we're going to see if this is any good or not. Oh yeah. With such a basic cookie as this, can expectations be exceeded? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the cookie looks like. And it's a chilled cookie. So we're going to see what the sugar cookie tastes like. Here we go. Mm. That's a little good. <clears throat> Cookies are nice and chill. <clears throat> But the frosting doesn't wow me as much. Not as good as my mom's sugar cookie. But it tastes pretty good. I wish the frosting would have been a little bit creamier or something like that. But not a bad cookie indeed. But being for the price paid for the cookie, I don't, I don't think it's probably match up to the $4.60 price point for this. So if you know somebody who knows how to bake sugar cookies pretty well, it's probably good to go that way. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You can take some ramen noodles right there and spread it on a plate, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. I put some Skyline chili on that, baby, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Add a little bit of extra meat. Oh, yeah. And I put some cheese on top of it, ladies and gentlemen. Some cheese on the top of it. And I got my little, I got my three-way spaghetti item they eat for dinner right there. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and we're gonna try this delicious homemade three-way pasta dish. Oh yeah, let's try it, baby. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Definitely worth trying, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely, definitely a nice, mm, tasty dish, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is me, William Fallow. And today we are gonna try the s'more cookie, ladies and gentlemen. And it comes with a graham cracker cookie, some chips inside, and it has a marshmallow there in the middle and chocolate drizzle, ladies and gentlemen. So we are going to try it. And this is dedicated to my boy Brandon out there. Good to see you, sir, today. Now let's try this bad boy right now. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try, ladies and gentlemen, the s'more cookie. Woo! Here we go. Mmm. Mm, that's pretty good. Mm. Mm. I 
It definitely tastes like a s'more. The cookie could be a little softer. But it's good, nice, and in the middle. It's very tasty. I like it. Definitely worth a try, ladies and gentlemen. Well, y'all have a good one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to try Popcorners Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn, ladies and gentlemen. We tried the blue bag, the white cheddar. Now we're going to try the Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. And we are going to taste it and see how good it is. It smells like kettle corn. And so let's try it. Here we go. That's what it looks like. It's pretty good. Tastes like kettle corn. And it has a nice and sweet and salty taste to it. Mmm. -hmm. It has a nice crunch to it, and it has a nice and sweet and salty taste to it. It's not overpowering, but it, it's seasoned pretty well. Mmm. -hmm. Very good. Very much worth the try. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is me, William Fallon, and this ain't no moon, ladies and gentlemen. And today, ladies and gentlemen, at Ohio Thrift, I found this awesome 3D print. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is a work of art, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 3D print of the Death Star, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, here's what the inside of it looks like. As you can see, it's black there. And uh, that's what it looks like on the inside. And here's what it looks like on the front. And I think it's a pretty neat little piece. And uh, I like it. It's a pretty cool piece of art. It is a death star 3d print and uh i think it's cool you can use it for a bunch of nice and different things probably well ladies and gentlemen thank you all very much for watching here is my new penguin action figure ladies and gentlemen comes with a card and swappable hands and here are some action shots right here and he's been known to hire cad bane Chrysanthemum, Wrecker, and King Kong, and he likes to drink at the most Isley Cantina.
took off weight and I used a push cart for it. Good workout. gentlemen my name is William Fowler ladies and gentlemen and I am here at Casa del Taco ladies and gentlemen and I am gonna try their breakfast burrito ladies and gentlemen and let's dig into this baby right here try this bad boy right now alrighty ladies and gentlemen we are gonna try ladies and gentlemen the s'more cookie Woo! here we go mmm mmm that's pretty good mmm Mm. It definitely tastes like a s'more. The cookie could be a little softer. But it's good, nice, and in the middle. It's very tasty. I like it. Definitely worth a try, ladies and gentlemen. Well, y'all have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna try a churro flavored Kit Kat bar, ladies and gentlemen. So we are gonna try this awesome candy bar today. And ladies and gentlemen, here is what the Kit Kat churro looks like, ladies and gentlemen. It looks very appetizing and it looks tasty. Oh yeah. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try the Kit Kat Churro. Oh, look at mm. I like it. It's nice. Smooth. It kind of tastes like a, a cinnamon toast crunch candy bar. I don't like it. Definitely tastes like cinnamon toast crunch in a candy bar form. Very delicious. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is me, William Fallow, and I am here at Dairy Queen, and I'm gonna try the Red Velvet Blizzard. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, look at that goodness right there. That's what it looks like right there. Okay, we're gonna get a taste of it here. Let me find get a good velvet chunk here. So look at that right there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I like it. Very 
definitely tasty. You can definitely taste the red velvety part. It's pretty good. The cake chunks are pretty sizable. And you can taste the frosting in it. Very well done blizzard at Dairy Queen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth the try, people. Oh, yeah. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, the Red Velvet Blizzard was pretty good, though. But one thing that the Blizzard could use is more Red Velvet Cake Chunks.